Hey everybody, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Scott Huntsman. Here at my two next shop in South Jordan, this is what's new this week. This iconic 1970 Plymouth Cuda, one of the best cars of the 70s. We've done engine work to this, a rebuild engine as a matter of fact, electrical work, steering column. We've got a boatload of things going bumper to bumper. Today what we're gonna do is review a set of four-wheel power disc brake system. Right now it's a manual four-wheel drum. It's gonna be a big difference. One of the biggest reasons is, is I have a set of American racing wheels that are gonna go on this car that are gonna look fantastic. We're gonna kind of lower the suspension a little bit. This is really gonna turn out cool. Let's get inside, let's get started and see what we've got. All right guys, so I've got the car up and I've got some wheels off. Now, I've laid out all the parts, all the components of this kit. What's important is when you're doing a four-wheel disc brake conversion, that you get a complete kit that has the master cylinder and the booster. Reason being, it takes more brake pressure to stop a disc brake than it does a drum brake. So you want to do the job complete and get it right the first time. I'm going to start with the rear wheels since I'm going to need a table to support the suspension to get the spindle off the front. Bearing slips in there. Okay guys, I'm to the point now, I've got the axle in. I'm now going to mount the caliper mounting bracket. And now I have the caliper that I've pre-assembled with the new brake pads, ceramic by the way, so I like those. And we're now uh, going to install it. There is a left and a right. All right guys, last step of this is to attach the hydraulic hose from the caliper it's going to go over to an L bracket that's going to attach to the axle housing. I'm going to weld this. They drill a nice hole in it so that you can put a rosebud weld right in the center of that. So I'm going to weld it right to the housing itself, give it a little coat of paint. That goes a long way. It's going to look real good. Okay guys, so now we're at the front of the car. And I've already installed quite a few of these parts because it took some extra time to do so. But we removed all the old drum, spindle. This comes with a new knuckle, steering arm, and lower ball joint assembly, all complete in the kit with all new hardware. All right, guys, hey, project complete. I've been out driving this car. It stops on a dime and so smooth. You know, the only thing I'm gonna take away from this MP power brake conversion kit was the fact it didn't come with hardware to mount the booster to the firewall. I had to get my own bolts and nuts to do that. Other than that, there isn't a lot I can say bad about this because it works so well. Now, I think it's great. The car looks good. It runs good. You want one of these, come down and see us here at Two Next South Jordan or West Valley. We take care of all of those here for you. We are brake experts. I'm Scott Huntsman. More at your leisure in a moment.